Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this design right here. This is such an easy design. I think I finished it in like two minutes flat. The biggest thing to consider when you're doing a design like this is your font selection. So to get the font to fit the, the sign that the turkey is holding and to get it to fit correctly, that's the biggest takeaway from this particular design. But if you stay through to the end, which shouldn't be too long because it's a short video, I will give you at least five other Thanksgiving niches that you can be working on so go ahead and watch to the very end so that you can uh, hear those I hope you guys are doing well so stick around okay so I am on canvas home page and as usual I'm gonna start with a blank background so I'm gonna go to custom size and I'm just gonna select 4500 by 5400 pixels again I will be designing for black today so I'm just gonna go ahead and start by selecting my background color which is going to be black right there now this is a really fast and easy design so it'll only take you a few seconds to do this if you stick around to the end I've got several more Thanksgiving niches that I'm gonna list off for you that you can start working on so go ahead and just stick to the end it should be a very short video anyways and so for this one we are gonna just have a turkey holding up a sign it's gonna be funny it's gonna say let's get basted now this is a design just for adults so make sure you do not check the youth checkbox when you upload this if you're uploading on Amazon merch on demand so let's just go ahead and go to the left hand side where I've got my elements and I'm going to do a search here for a turkey now, be forewarned, there are a ton, a ton of turkeys and you may be looking for a long time to find the one that you want. Um, and so don't be afraid, again, to scroll for a long, long time. And of course, when you put turkey, you're gonna get things from Turkey the Country, along with living turkeys, along with turkey dinners. So you might have to search for a little bit to, to kind of find what you want. Um, I can try to narrow it down, but sometimes that doesn't always work the way you want either. So you may try several different settings. Uh, this is similar to what I want. Okay, here we go. So magic recommendations, love that. So it pops up, here's a turkey holding a sign. I like that. So here we go. There were several turkeys holding a sign. This was one that was a good option. Oh, here's the other one that I wanted is the vertical sign. So perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, of course, you can create this style just by adding a white rectangle. So for example, if I wanted to use this turkey right here and I wanted him holding a sign, I could hit R on my keyboard. It would pull up a rectangle. I could make that rectangle white. I could make it whatever size I wanted it to be and I could make it look as though, you know, he's holding it, something like that, right? So you can always try to create that yourself. This is nice, it's already done, and so I think I'm just gonna really easily go with this one right here. So, so far, so good, pretty simple. Now, you can't use this graphic as a standalone um, uh, with, with you know Canva policies. You do have to make some sort of alterations. I mean, unfortunately, just the fact that he's holding a sign means you're going to put something on that sign, which by itself would make this a unique design. But let's go ahead and we'll add one more thing. So let's just start with our font though. I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard. It's pulling up a text box. And in this text box, I'm going to write, let's get basted. All right. And so let's get basted is gonna come right in here. I think we're gonna go ahead and make that all caps. And we're gonna be looking for a font that's nice and narrow because I want this to be bold so let's go ahead i'm just going to type in and narrow and now i'm selecting a font i want it to be easy to read and narrow so something like that looks pretty good by itself basted being the longest word you do have to make sure it fits nicely on the sign so if it's if it's too wide maybe we'll go something even narrower than that so there's lots of different options one of the really narrow ones, if you really want to go super narrow, let me see if I can find it. Problem is they're so narrow it's hard to read when I'm looking at this is this one right here. Uh, 
Palala bus. <laughs> like I can't even read it. Palala bus, right? That one is super, super narrow, which means that I can make it really pretty big to make it fill that space. Now, right now it's going outside the box. That's just because I need to change the spacing between the lines. So to do that really easy, you just make sure your whole thing is selected. You're gonna go up to the top where you get this little arrow up and down says spacing. And we're gonna go with line spacing and I'm gonna bring that line spacing really close together. So maybe we start something like that and we'll take a look and we'll play with it from there. So now those line spaces are nice and close together. And that looks really good except for, oh man, it's going over his hand. So maybe I need to make the line spaces just a little bit closer still. So no problem, we'll just bring it even tighter. There we go, and bring that all the way down to the bottom of the side. Perfect, it's no longer on his hands. Make sure that it looks like it's pretty centered in the sign, so something like that looks good. And so now this is very easy to read. So font selection is a huge, huge part of this design. If you pick a font that is too wide, it is going to be very small in the sign and you won't be able to see it. So it's really important when we're doing something like this, we need that font to be very narrow so I can make it very big so it can fill up the whole sign and be easy to read. Now you can put whatever you want in that sign and you can make several different versions with different sayings. So for example, I've seen one that said, eat more pizza. That could be a kid style design. This one, let's get basted, that's a little bit more of an adult style design. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little beer in his hand just to emphasize the adult style here, but you can see how we can play with this. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna really quickly do with like a glass of beer, just beer and see what comes up. And it doesn't have to be anything too hard. Something like that is really easy. And so go ahead and play with some beers. Try to make them look like they're sized right. I can even do something, you know, if I was doing it that way, it might even look like he was holding onto the handle of a mug. So something like that might work. You can play with where you put it and you can play with the size of it too to make it look like it's in his hand. You want it to look like it's in his hand as much as possible. I can do that, I completely cut off the end of his hand. It looks like he's holding the beer, that looks pretty good. And again, you can play with the different styles of beer too. Whatever you pick, you do want it to be cohesive, you want it to look like it kind of goes with this design here, so nothing that's gonna not look like it flows well. And if it does have a handle on it, you can't have the handle sticking out to nowhere um, because then it wouldn't look like he's holding it. And so I think that's actually a really good choice, the one that we got right away and so it's nice when you find a good choice right away and i do think i'm just going to go ahead and go with that one so this design is ready to go up you really don't have to add any more i mean you can put some flourishes here or there if you want to there's all sorts of different options of what you you know can and you know you can do whatever you want so you can be as creative as you want but again keeping it simple Super fast design. What did I do? I made that in a couple of minutes. And because you were so patient and waiting these couple of minutes and stuck through to the end, I'm just gonna give you a few of the funnier designs that I have seen over the last few years for Thanksgiving. And I did go ahead and trademark check these to make sure they are not trademarked. So they are free to use and you can be as creative as you want in designing for these. So on top of let's get basted, I've seen ones that say, it's leg day, alluding to the gym, but with a, you know, turkey. I have seen you only like me for my breasts, uh, which is another funny one. Just make sure you don't put the youth checkbox on that one. I have seen kids ones that just say kind of gobble till you wobble, and those are always cute. Cutest turkey in the flock is another good one. And if you like a really dirty joke one, if you like my pumpkins, you should see my pie. And so those are all different ones that you could start designing for. Now for Thanksgiving, tons of Thanksgiving ones. Remember, funny is always good. So if you've got some that are more humorous, that is great. Be sure to diversify in terms of your style. So don't just stick with one style. Go ahead and try to put up lots of different styles. Uh, you can make kids Thanksgiving designs, adult obviously Thanksgiving designs. You can make ones that are more just sort of 
fall, cozy, you know, style designs, humorous ones, ones that are more like blessed or thankful. Um, so lots and lots of different ways that you can go with creating sort of the Thanksgiving style designs or the fall style designs. So be as creative as you want. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. And we're going to start doing some Christmas designs here soon. I've got a whole month worth of Christmas designs uh, in different niches to show you. So you know, stick around for those if you're interested in different types of Christmas designs that you can be selling. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're making a lot of sales and I do hope to see you guys again next week. So take care. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.